Alright, welcome back to another GeoFS Advanced video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to use the new Simri feature with GeoFS. So, you go over here to the sidebar, click New Flight. You then put all your airline information in, so today I'm going to be American Airlines Flight 1801 from Charlotte to Montego Bay. And then aircraft type, we're going to be in A321neo. Uh, Simbrief automatically generates a route for us. As you can see, if you scroll to the bottom, this right here is the route. We have our SID, we have our star, and we have all the waypoints in between. So if you look in air, under aircraft info, you're just going to leave climb profile, cruise, and descent profile all the same. Now, since GFS isn't too in depth, it's really simple. Uh, most of these uh, drop down menus and inputs are not going to be needed. Now, here is optional entries. So, if you want a different runway or a different cruise altitude, you can put that in. So, if I scroll down to the selected route, this I can actually edit and put waypoints in there. You don't have to do anything with this. This is just the automatically generated route, and usually it'll generate the entire route how it should be. And then suggested routes, these are the different routes you can select. So if I select this one, it's slightly different over this one. Slightly more waypoints, but they all generally have the same sits and stars. So I just stick with this, this first one. All right, so there's two ways you can get this in the GFS. First, you have to click generate flight. There we go. Now if you come down here and then expand the flight plan download, just, you can scroll down and look at that. GFS flight plan. Click download and it'll download the JSON file where you can go into GFS and then go to nav and then upload it in the FMC. Or you can do it this way. So if you go to options, general, it says if you have a Navigraph Simbrief account, all you have to do is enter your username so you can import it directly into GFS. So if you go to Simbrief and I go to dashboard, this here is my username. I just stick that in here, save and close, go to nav, you click this icon, import Simbri flight plan, and it'll import the latest flight plan. So the flight plan that's here is what's going to import into GFS. It's as easy as that. And it also will generate an entire VNAV profile from takeoff to landing. And for long haul flights like this one from Dubai to San Francisco, it will automatically calculate a step climb procedure during cruise. A step climb procedure basically simulates uh, as an aircraft loses fuel, it gets lighter, so that means it can cruise at a higher altitude and stay efficient. So as you can see, this first levels off at 31,000 feet, and then it will make its way up to 39,000 feet by the end of cruise until the top of descent. And that concludes the video. Have a nice flight.